So, I was not planning on this today. Hence, the mess. But I had a rough morning, okay? I'll explain to you in a minute, but you have to see what's going on. so I'm talking kind of quietly because I'm on my patio and my neighbors are everywhere um, but if some of you follow my Instagrams you already saw like I had a really rough morning <laughs> this morning I went outside and there was a dead baby hawk on the sidewalk and in my complex and it was really really upsetting to me because it was a baby and like there's nothing I could do and so I spent like two hours just stewing over this little dead baby hawk because I didn't want people to mess with it so I ended up going out and burying it and then <laughs> like Hours and hours later, I found the dead baby hawk at like 6 a.m. It's now 3, 4, and I go outside, and there's another baby hawk. Except this baby hawk isn't dead. This baby hawk was sitting on the ground and looking extremely lethargic. Our neighbors had already called animal control and they already came by and said there's nothing that they can do and they left and I know birds and this bird was not okay so I took a towel and I grabbed her and I took her up into my patio <laughs> so I have, um, I have a baby hawk <laughs> Hi, honey. Um, and I'm honestly really glad that I grabbed her because I took her up to my patio and put her in this cage and I fed her water right away and she instantly, like, she was so dehydrated. I literally just grabbed her. She did not fight me at all. She was severely dehydrated. So now we are trying to feed her and I already called, um, animal rescue programs in my area and we're going to be taking her to the vet in the morning so no worries the baby like i'm already taking care of it but i just had to like oh my god you guys i have a baby hawk i can't believe this like this is crazy i've never had this happen before i've had baby robins and sparrows and little baby birds but a baby hawk So, she definitely does not know how to feed herself. We've tried feeding her and she does not understand, so we are now using a syringe. She definitely is a fletchling. She definitely does not have her flight feathers in. And I'm definitely glad that I grabbed her because she really was dehydrated. And I honestly feel like, I don't know, 
after I buried a baby hawk this morning. Like, this was a really rough morning. And then to be able to save another one just... It makes my heart feel a lot better. She's so cute. It's like 90 degrees outside too, if that gives you guys any kind of perspective on, like, she was severely dehydrated and just sitting in the sun. I ended up like putting her in this really shaded corner because she was getting very antsy and trying to go towards the light. So I have her very covered right now. She's like in a cave like situation so that she can be calm. But she already ate once. She's already doing so, so much better. Let me turn on the light. It's so hard to get picture of this bird because she's in a cage and it's so dark and shadowy but she's so much more alert she's so much more alert which makes me so happy Okay, so I just called um, the animal place uh, that I was recommended to. I called my bird rescue yesterday and asked them where I can take this bird because usually bird rescues can't take bird of praise. They're very different, so they have to go somewhere else. They told me to call this specific veterinarian and I did and they said that they might be coming to pick it up and they're gonna give me a call back. So I'm just waiting to hear back from them and we will see what happens. I thought I was gonna have to drop her off, but maybe they'll just come and get her. So we'll see. Okay, they just called me back and they said that they're gonna send someone to pick up the baby. So I'm nervous. <laughs> Someone's coming here to pick up the bird. Um, I called like an hour ago 
I'm still waiting. The bird is definitely awake and she's wrestling around in the cage and um, she's not very happy. <laughs> She's definitely confused as to why she's in a cage. So I'm just like anxiously waiting for them to get here so that they can take her because I know she's stressed. <laughs> so hopefully it won't be too much longer. It's already been an hour. It's already been an hour. Cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be safe. Yeah, they take good care of them. I'm sorry for pulling this nonsense, cause I know, I know. Um, I'm sitting here editing this video, and I kind of like just ended it, um, without really much um, like information. Hi, uh, hello. <laughs> um. So, Animal Control, who is who came and picked up the bird, they are taking the bird to um, a specific veterinarian. It's actually the same bird that I take my babies to, which is kind of cool. Um, but they have a doctor that specializes in birds of prey. So they are going to take her to that doctor to make sure that she's all good to go because she was severely dehydrated and her brother died and the parents are gone so I just want to make sure that that bird's okay. Um, and then I did talk to the guy that came in, grabbed her and showed him where their nest is in the tree and he said that like it's a good thing that I knew where the nest was and that I did point it out because they want to come back to where the nest is and that's where they're going to hello what are you doing that's where they're going to release her when she is ready to be released so that'll be really cool because it'll be like right outside my window <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of clarify and give you guys like an actual ending on what happened um, I felt kind of awkward like recording the whole situation especially because it was just me at home alone with this guy in my house so I I didn't really want to film the whole thing so I'm here telling you what happened um, maybe we'll do a little clip of when they release her I don't know don't hold me on that because it might happen without me even knowing so so yay baby bird is taken care of and safe and in good hands yeah so thanks for watching you guys <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video it's kind of all over the place but it's a nice little heartwarming little hawk story for you so <laughs> yes baby i know you're the true star of the show